Starting a new career can be both exciting and scary. If you wish to get into the world of plumbing, this video is just for you. We will discuss every major aspect of the plumbing industry, ranging from the work environment to its positioning in the occupational world, and also provide a step-by-step -step guide on how to become a plumber in the United States of America. The official statistics provided by the United States Department of Labor have revealed that there are approximately 490,200 people working as plumbers in the United States of America currently. This field brings in comfort and beauty to our homes, and its most important contribution has been its ability to ensure the safe and clean usage of water. The plumbing industry has devoted itself to serving public health and welfare. It is also a powerful economic engine that has attracted millions of people to take up this trade. The job outlook of the plumbing industry. It has been projected that the employment in this sector is likely to grow by 4% between 2019 and 2029. According to the US Bureau of Labor Statistics, plumbers receive an average annual salary of $53,910. The range of salary extends from $32,100 per year to $93,700 per year. But just like any other profession, plumbing is also susceptible to economic fluctuations. However, the maintenance of pipe systems continues even amidst economic recessions or other emergencies. As a result of this, employment and job security are relatively steady in this field. Many plumbers also work post their usual age of retirement. During this phase, they train apprentices and perform other supervisory work. Let us now look into some of the duties of plumbers. The basic job of a plumber involves installing and repairing pipes. Plumbers also install plumbing fixtures, inspect and operate different equipment, clean drains, clear obstructions, maintain septic systems, train apprentices, coordinate with other construction workers, ensure that a property's plumbing system functions properly. Plumbers may even work right alongside architects and be involved in drafting blueprints to ensure the efficiency of the final product. The work environment of plumbers is varied. Plumbers have to travel to various sites of work every day, from homes to factories and office buildings. Their work is diversified and can be situated in indoor or outdoor settings. Sometimes, plumbers are also required to work in challenging weather conditions. Plumbing is a full-time job and work is therefore not categorized into shifts. Owing to the nature of different categories of clients, work may be scheduled like that in an office setting or unplanned, like a leaking pipe system at home. Plumbing work can also include emergency services and a plumber must be available on call throughout the day. While a self-employed plumber enjoys the liberty of charting out their own schedule, a hired plumber may have to work overtime. Provided here is a step-by-step -step guide on how to go from zero experience to becoming a full-time licensed plumber in the United States of America. How long does it take to become a plumber? It usually takes four to five years to become a licensed and certified plumber. In high school, those interested in the plumbing profession can start preparing for their occupation by taking classes in geometry, algebra, physics, and computer-aided drafting. A high school diploma or equivalent is typically required to become a plumber. Vocational technical schools offer courses in pipe system design, safety, tool use, welding, etc. that are necessary for some apprenticeship training programs as well. Plumbers must also care to ensure that they have a clear criminal, driving and drug record. This enhances their chances of becoming a plumber. There is also a possibility of obtaining scholarships specific to plumbing education. A number of organizations can be considered in this regard. 
the American Society of Plumbing Engineers, ASPE, grants a scholarship up to $3,000 to qualified applicants. It is restricted to ASPE members and their immediate families who have a GPA above 3 and are willing to attend university on a full-time basis. Next, the World Plumbing Council. There are two scholarships available, one to students from developed countries and the other to students from developing or underdeveloped countries. The scholarships are granted to individuals actively involved in their local plumbing industry. It attempts to create student exchange programs between the plumbing industry participants from different countries. Next, the Next Star Legacy Foundation that awards $105,000 in scholarship grants to students wishing to pursue education in the plumbing, HVAC, and electricity sector. Next, PSCC Educational Foundation provides financial assistance to students pursuing a career in the plumbing, heating, cooling industry. San Jos Plumbing Scholarship The San Jos Plumbing Contractors introduce the scholarship to those interested in studying in the PHCC Association of Orange County, Riverside, and San Bernardino. How to become a plumber apprentice? These are on the job training programs that have a flexible duration but usually last from about two to five years. Plumbers develop their skills fully through this apprenticeship. They receive valuable technical training while working alongside an experienced plumber. In addition, they also received 246 hours of classroom training. Coursework in these training programs covers a vast range of topics from plumbing theory and pipe cutting to electrical basics and local plumbing codes. The apprentices also learn to read blueprints, interpret plumbing codes, identify the appropriate fittings, recognize the grades, and types of pipes and eventually also master the usage of various tools involved in their trade. In addition to verified courses conducted by labor unions, a number of online plumbing courses have also come up. How to become a licensed plumber? It is mandatory for plumbers to be licensed. After the completion of their apprenticeship programs, Plumbers are required to pass the journeyman licensing exam in order to become journey level workers who are then legally allowed to practice the plumbing trade independently. After having gained several years of experience, plumbers can take another exam and move further up to earn a master status. Although the licensing requirements vary from state to state, most states require plumbers to pass an exam and possess a minimum of two to five years of apprentice experience for them to acquire a license and be qualified to perform their task. Once plumbers on their license, some of them are hired as full-time workers, some may go on to start their own plumbing firm. Some states also require plumbers to fulfill continuing education requirements in order to renew their license. License renewal may take place annually or every three to five years. Most states also require plumbers to carry a plumber's liability insurance or a worker's compensation insurance if they wish to acquire a license and be certified. Let us look into some of the qualities of a plumber. A good plumber must be certified, experienced, competent, reputable and reliable, mechanically inclined, punctual, dedicated, dexterous, physically strong and in good shape, in possession of effective coordination, communication and problem solving skills and are able to prioritize safety. However, one must note that it is very important to make sure that the person concerned is actually willing to take up plumbing as a career. It requires passion to pursue any profession and one must therefore be completely confident about their choices and devoted to their profession. Plumbing has historically been considered to be a more male-dominated profession that is unsuited to women. But just like any other walk of life, women have been showing their mettle in plumbing too. There has been a growing awareness about the field among women who have shown the desired physical strength that the profession demands 
and a strong sense of determination to override obstacles. They also possess the necessary tenderness that is required while dealing with customers. Today, women have also emerged as leaders and founded their own plumbing organizations. Conventions are thus gradually being shattered and we are working towards transforming plumbing into a more gender neutral profession. So where does the plumbing industry stand today and in the days to come? The plumbing profession is expected to provide good employment opportunities in the foreseeable future. A growth in the renovation and construction business faced with a shortage of qualified and skilled professional plumbers could create demand in the field. The retirement of tradesmen and shift of professionals to other fields may also create a number of new openings. With the spread of the COVID-19 pandemic, we stand today at a crucial juncture and the planet is confronted with one of the toughest challenges in history. The immense importance of plumbing can be gauged in such a situation where one of the primary ways to control the spread of this dreadful disease is by washing our hands. With the shortage of clean water and the necessity of ensuring proper sanitation, our plumbing systems are being tested to their ultimate potential. The slogan adopted by the American plumbers in the early 20th century, the plumbers protect the health of the nation, probably makes more sense today than ever. On March 19, 2020, President Donald Trump and the US Department of Homeland Security issued a coronavirus guidance for America whereby plumbers were identified as one of the essential critical infrastructure workers of the nation. This placed the plumbing professionals in the heart of America's response to the threat of the pandemic. Due to the nature of their job, plumbers have been exposed to greater risk, but as always, they have taken the challenge head on and are responding to all plumbing related problems from the front line and with utmost dedication and swiftness. A career in the plumbing sector is likely to throw new challenges and exciting opportunities every day. Today, plumbing counts as a very respectable profession and has attracted youth all across the country. As a crucial industry with a rising demand, the importance of plumbers in our daily lives is undeniable. We hope that this video has helped you to acquire sufficient knowledge of the trade and how to become a plumber.